Good morning, guys. I am on holidays, finally. My exams are finally over and I have really been enjoying these slow mornings. I am wearing leggings and an extra large t-shirt, just enjoying my freedom and relaxing, trying to catch up on a little sleep. Um, I'm also making coffee, again. I should tell you guys, I don't drink coffee actually, I, I drink decaffeinated coffee because uh, a couple of months ago I did some kind of diet in which you eliminate the products that uh, your belly doesn't like. So caffeine was one of the things that my belly really didn't like and uh, I always had very bad belly aches so I had to eliminate caffeine from my diet. I did find some really nice decaffeinated options uh, like Lore or Starbucks has some really nice ones. Um, so if you like, I'll link them down below. Even if you just want to cut down on your caffeine, it's a good option to drink some decaffeinated coffee sometimes. Anyway, for today's video, um, I am starting school in about two weeks. Um, and I did want to prepare a little bit. I know I'm on holiday, I shouldn't have school in my head right now. But I wanted to prepare so I can really wind down during my holiday and I don't have to think about school all the time and stuff I have to prepare. Um, I also, my best friend uh, came to visit me a couple of weeks ago and she had a lot of Christmas gifts for me. Um, and it was all bullet journal stuff. So markers, washi tapes, very fun gifts. But due to my exams, I didn't really have the time to organize those. So I wanted to do that today, organize all my bullet journal stuff, maybe declutter some and then prepare my desk and my study area uh, for the new semester. So I hope you guys will follow along and you will find some inspiration to declutter your own space or maybe organize a little bit. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's do this. So this is my office space. It is in the living room, but I really love having my own little spot to study. It is at the window, so that's what I love. Look at this, you guys. I got these flowers from Alex because we were two years engaged. Isn't that so cute? So as you can see, there's a lot going on here. I think this is way too crowded and it doesn't give me a calm headspace. I have some receipts right there. This is a mess, like my cable management, not so great. And then under my desk, I have this basket with all the gifts I got from my best friend. Thank you, Rihanna, you are the best. I am so going to love to use these, but it really needs some organizing. And then I also have this cabinet next to my desk, which is an absolute disaster. I just keep pumping stuff in there when I don't have time to organize them. So I really need a system that makes it easy to keep it clean and organized and everything has its place. So that's my goal for today. I think I'm going to start with taking everything off my desk, out of my cabinets, off these shelves and just putting it into the living room all together, trying to organize it into categories. And then once my cabinets and my desk is empty, I can try to think of a system of where to put everything and what would be logic. I'm also going to try to declutter some of my stuff. I don't like decluttering my bullet journal stuff because I'm always like, I will be able to use this once, probably, hopefully. But I just, I should just get rid of it because I'm never going to use it or I have doubles of it and I need to learn to let go.
okay so this is a mess <laughs> um, I do have a lot more stuff than I thought I'm gonna try to separate these into piles of school bullet journal documents and so on and I hope to see some structure in it then <music> Okay, so I tried to organize everything into categories. Let me walk you through it. So we'll start all the way in the back. This is everything that has to do with documents of our house, uh, receipts that we have to hold on to, stuff like that. That is my memory box. Don't know where I'm going to put that yet. This is everything for school. Everything in the box is my bullet journal stuff. And actually, if I see it all together, it's not that much, so I might have to declutter less than I thought. This is the pile I have to recycle. Everything on the bench is stuff that actually is empty or doesn't belong in my office, so I'm gonna have to find another spot for that. Over here we have all my bullet journals from during the years. Um, some empty notebooks and this is just rest category like everything that does belong in my office but doesn't really have a category in itself and then this box is everything I use to make cards and then my cables but they are going to stay in this basket I might declutter I might declutter some of them but uh, yeah that's it and then obviously my decorations, which are going nowhere. I'm going to keep them, put them back. So yeah, that's everything. I'm, I think I'm going to recycle this first and then declutter everything that I don't need anymore. Then I'm going to organize the documents over there from our house. And then we can start to think of a system. These are all the markers I found. I think it's my entire collection. Of course, my Tombow Jewel brush pens, some Tombows, Micron fine liners, um, and then some fun gel pens. And then over here, these are all kinds of glitter pens, also uh, Jewel brush pens. And these are also Jewel, but some different, more like pastel colors. I think the Crayolas and these ones look very much alike. I'm going to declutter the overlapping colors and keep the rest. I got a new pack of black fine liners. I think I'm going to use these for now because they are new. And I love me some new fine liners. Um, but I'm going to keep my microns as some kind of backup because um, I'm always in the dilemma that when my fine liners run out, I don't really have an extra pair laying around. So I am going to use these right now and then when one of them runs out, I can use a Micron as a backup and in the meantime order a new pack. These are my Garondash color pencils and this is uh, to watercolor with them. So I'm going to keep that, those as well. 
Now I'm gonna have to find a system to organize all of these in some kind of way that the ones I use the most are the easiest to reach for. And then the others I'm going to give a little bit more of a backspace, but I still want them in my office. So let's think about that right now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to declutter these all together because they leak. <laughs> it's very weird to say, but I'll, I'll show you. So when you open them up at the brush pen side, they splash. Yeah, see. So, can you see here and here and here, they just Flash all over my page and that is not what I want in my bullet journal. Um, I've been thinking to keep them for like making cards and stuff but I think it will be so messy so with pain in my heart I think I'm just gonna declutter them. Now might be the time to show you how I choose the markers that I will use. At the back of my bullet journal I have a pen test page where I use all my markers to see if they bleed or ghost or smush <laughs> and then um, I can be sure that every marker that I have in my collection is safe to use. So I think this is gonna be the collection I am left with and I'm going to organize them in all the organizers over there they're all like pink rose goldish i love the vibe so let's see how it looks what a mess you guys <laughs> i hope i get this finished before my husband comes home because he's definitely gonna force me to declutter some more if he sees all this <laughs> I think I'm going to keep this one for on my desk with my pens and markers that I also use for school. Um, but it spins. Very cute. I also like the aesthetic of it. It's small. Um, I'm definitely going to have to declutter some of my pens for school because this is a lot smaller than the black case I had before. Whoops. But I see it as a challenge, so let's do it. Okay, so I think I have it figured out. This will be on my desk with my most used pens for school, scissors, and these are like Tipex and an eraser and stuff. And I'm also going to use this one for the markers that I used that month for my bullet journal. Like for example, when my theme is purple and green, I will put these in here so I have easy access to them. Uh, and then over here, these are all my markers and gel pens. I think I'm going to put these in the cabinet because it does look kind of... It's satisfying, but it's also messy. So I don't know if I want them out. And then this is my backstop with all my doubles, like extra tipex, extra glue, extra markers. 
and extra fine liners. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to keep it this way, but I'm going to try this out and then see if it works. If not, I will rearrange it. And that's basically my life. I feel like the more I organize, the more of a mess it gets. So I think I'm gonna have to change my strategy and start implementing all my stuff in my office area again and then just keep rearranging until I like it because I can't get an overview of what all this is. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the books and my bullet journals because I do have a clear view on where I want them and then go on from there. I don't like my cables being in this basket because it looks very messy, especially when I put it on the shelf. So I think I'm gonna use these guys to disguise my cables. Um, maybe I'll give them a pop of color one day, but I don't have time to, for that today. So I'm just going to organize these, maybe declutter some double cables and then put them in these. So we have a quick draft of this setup over here. So I think I'm gonna start with the cabinet and my bullet journal stuff. See if I can get some stuff away from this mess and see what's left and then we'll decide on where to put all the rest. Okay, so let me show you what we got here in this box we have everything like washies stickers um, tape pencils and so on and then here are all the markers i don't know what to put in these bottom shells because they're very undeep um but i'll find something and then back here is my back stock because i won't be using this a lot so it can go in the back and then I actually have half a cabinet left for other stuff, which I do have, as you can see. So I'm gonna try to organize some stuff into baskets that I can put here, and then we'll see how that looks.
I think we did it. So this is the end result. I'm going to start with the shelves. So these are all my school books. This is a box with uh, paper, um, notepads, everything to make cards and stuff. These are all my bullet journals, cords and cables, some decorations. Then over to my desk. Let me just move this one. Um, so I have the spinning organizer over here. I love how it looks, it really fits the gold. And then just my laptop, very simple and clean. Also my washi tape station with some cute notepads. I do have some more clutter over here. Uh, I do need a filing cabinet for that, that maybe can be hung up on the wall over here. Um, and I also need a laptop stand. You know, the wooden kind that you can put your laptop on and then underneath is a drawer to put some more clutter. <laughs> That's what I need for some more school material like pens and markers. Moving on to the cabinet. Decorations kept it very simple. The documents in these are both school, life, house, everything but the file holders really fit together very well, so I kept that together. And then the cabinet underneath, let's open it up. So on the left side is my bullet journal stuff, um, everything like stickers and pencils, washi tapes, um, all of my markers are over there. And then my markers for school because I thought they would be a little bit too flashy to put on my desk. And then all kinds of random stuff over here that I do need to be in my desk area but I don't like to put them out because it's a lot of clutter. Uh, like my glasses, um, some tape, my passport. Um, so yeah, I do like the baskets. They also fit the pink theme. Um, and then of course my back stock here in the back, which I don't need that often, so it doesn't have to be very reachable. Yeah, it looks organized. I think I'm happy with the result. That was it for today's video. I hope you found some inspiration to organize your own desk area or maybe another area in your house. The key is to just start, take everything out, try to organize them in categories and then put everything back. It looks like a big task, but once you start, you'll get it done. Good luck with whatever your project is today, and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love.